And we're back with some more Rimworld. And today we're about to become true monsters because we're going rhino hunting. Namely because they're just worth so much meat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all going to go crazy right now. Okay, let's uh, split everyone up into their teams. You shoot those ones. Oh, you can all shoot that one. And you all can shoot... Oh, I don't know. How about that one? Come on. Wow, one of them actually survived. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. Ow, that hurt. He almost took his leg clean off. You get in there. Well, excellent. Now our fridge should be capable of being stopped up quite easily. In fact, I think I'm going to grab those muffalo while we're here. I almost missed it. It's time for a marriage ceremony. Come on, everyone. There's like a marriage ceremony spot right there. Are you... Are you going to get together? Or did the marriage already happen? Damn it, did I miss it already? Ah, buggery. Uh, beginning their marriage ceremony now. Well, Mitchell and Azul are getting married. They're perfectly suited for each other. Trigger happy quick sleeper with trigger happy underground or quick sleeper. I'm sure they have will have a lovely long marriage. And what the hell? They're now celebrating the occasion? Yeah, are, are you really? It seems like everyone went back to work. Okay. Uh, weird. I'm not seeing... Attended wedding plus 20. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Everyone's got a nice mood bonus. And it looks like the world map has generated a new quest. Let's hope it's not miles away. A mining site. Please tell me there are not people who will not be annoyed by us killing them. You can attack them without any broader diplomatic consequences because they're independent. We can't attack this site here because it belongs to Fun Robin. And Fun Robin are actually this faction right here who are our allies and we would like to keep friendly with us. But we can go and kill out that steel mining works out. Hmm. The chocolate wood is very tempting, but it's really, really far away. All right, uh, first up, though, we need to get Sean Bjug off on a caravan because we have a bunch of meat we got to sell off for components so we can make a few more miniguns. Well, that's a much cleaner fridge. Uh, I should probably butcher up a few more animals to make room. Sean is leaving the map with... Oh, God, that's way too many animals. The whole thing's glitching out a little bit. It'll be fine. How's our prisoner doing? Oh, yeah, their suppression is at full rate of 0% per day. Turns out that we can suppress them even more. They're currently at, uh, was it a suppression rate of, well, it was, ah, suppression of 75%. However, you can increase that suppression rate if you, say, punch them a little bit. Yep, I know, I know, this is terrible, but if you check their suppression here, it's at 75. And when we punch them, it goes up to 78. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing now. Never mind, let them go grab a meal. So every so often, we'll just give them a quick smack and, you know, then they can heal up and uh, we can do it to him again the next day. Oh, did I not give them a bed? Hey, you've got a bed right over there. Oh, I haven't zoned it for you. Yes, I have been advised, zone them only in areas that you want them to go and don't zone them into areas where they can gain access to um, weapons. That's a bad idea. All right, go grab a nap. You'll be fine in the morning, probably. Seriously, Randy? All right, uh, there's a, a few things going on here, but the main one is our new threat is Ibex have gone Manhunter. Um, right. That's, um, that's kind of pathetic. Not gonna lie, that's, that's super duper pathetic. Uh, what time is it? Five o'clock. You know what? I'm gonna just lock the doors and then once everyone's out of bed, then we'll go take care of it. Or they could actually find that we have an open kill box. Hmm. One second while you grab one. Sorry, I'm gonna have to all wake you all up. Bit of an annoyance, I know, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, everyone in here. Come on. Oh, wow, they actually beat down doors now. Sean Pyog has met, met someone in the trade caravan. Okay, one second, let's find out what he's doing. Well, it turns out they do have a Psychic Shock Lance and Insanity Lance, and yes, I do have a crippling addiction to buying them everywhere I go, so I think we'll pick these up. Uh, they don't seem to have any components. Oh my god, they have components. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna sell them... Oh, you can take the smoke pop belt and... Oh, you know what? You can take that as well. And that. And that. And that. Excellent. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. There was a bunch of mad deer beating down our door so that we could beat them up. Ah, uh, that's fine. You, get in there. Uh. What are you... Oh, wow. They're actually killing the barricades? Can they not get to granite barricades? All right, so animals have changed a little bit. Hmm. 
fine. This is taking too long. Uh, let's get someone over there to open the door. Who's the fastest? Since just about everyone has miniguns, we're gonna send Grumpy Gran over there. Uh, she may be hard of hearing, but her legs still work pretty good, it seems. Okay, open that door. Yeah, we'll lock it open. And then you can come back here. There we go. Yep. I'm pretty sure the ISPC are going to have some serious questions for- Oh my sweet Jesus, did you see that mountain just like that, right? Right. Um, gonna call that a very successful defense. And Randy, you know, I don't know what you're up to out there, but I was really expecting things to be a little bit trickier so far. Uh, actually, never mind. You know what? It's fine. I'm loving it. This is- this is great. Uh, forget I said anything. You're doing a wonderful job. You keep doing exactly what you're doing. Sean here managed to snag us another 23 components by selling off some more junk. And you can come back home now, Chief. Perfect. In fact, uh, do we have anything we need to get rid of? I think I sent some animals with him, but I'm pretty sure I sold a lot of them. Eh, yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, Fridge-wise, how are we looking? Ooh, wow. That is a... That is a stacked fridge. I... Like, we just keep collecting meat faster than we can spend it. I don't know if it's the nutrient paste machine or the fact that the cows have just been boosted so much that even five of them are just producing an, a, just a ridiculous amount of milk at this point. Oh well, uh, soon everyone will be equipped and then we just need, like, a tribal raid so that we can get some new recruits. Actually, Jesus, another masterwork. Jason, you are a freaking monster. Like, that is so many masterwork pieces. Uh, where was it? Where is this? Is this going to be the Kinship of Rankham? Kinship sounds like small and bow orientated. I think we're going to go on a raid, bring some shock lances with us and see if we can't recruit another trigger happy or a tough person. Now I did hold off on launching that raid for a full day because we were just about up to 20 anima grass and considering we could get raided while we were away I figure yeah we might as well spend this grass now. Plus you know it's an extra level. Okay, off you go. Uh, we're probably going to be leaving Landon behind. So maybe we should hit him another smack or two before we go. What's your uh, repression at? 78%? Yeah, we can We can maybe hit it, give him a little bit of a mild beating before we go to make sure they stay in line. While we are waiting for the ritual to complete, let's have a quick look over the kill box. That made some minor changes. When we've got a, a grenade area here so we can chuck someone with EMP grenades so that we can EMP this section here in case anyone shows up with any shield belts, shield pops, or mechanoids. We've also sort of walled this off down here as best we can. Namely to force them to walk over the mud and the water to slow them down as much as possible so our gunners get as much time as possible to shoot them. Also, I've cored out an area over here. This is a wonderful idea. Uh, they said, yeah, core out over here and then we've got even more of a distance for them to cross so we can chuck people over here as well, though we can't quite put any barricades right there. Maybe some wood ones, but I don't think they'd be quite as efficient. And what was the newest ability of this pawn? They've got Blinding Pulse. That's actually pretty handy. Hmm. Exit. All right, I think first thing in the morning, though, everyone's going to be leaving and we're going to be heading out in the road. So we'll probably want to stockpile some of those, uh, uh, what should we call them, meals. We can get one of the pawns to produce a whole bunch next time they go up to one of the machines, but we'll do that in the morning. For example, we can get Jason here and we can tell them to, well, we can assign them to not eat that meal. Then some of them, on some of them, some of them, on some of them, and do that repeatedly until eventually we have a giant pile of nutrient paste meals. But we're not going to do that. Today we'll do that in the morning. Those things only last about, what is it, 18 hours? Yeah, they spoil in 18 hours, so that's one of the negatives of those meals. They don't last very long indeed. We're going to send out a rather, rather large caravan this time around. Uh, basically, the only people who are not going are going to be Sean Bjug and Jason. And uh, namely because Jason sitting over here is going to be working on miniguns for the whole time. And Sean, because well, they're close combat, while it might, might be nice to have them along, we do need them to keep up the uh, recruitment here on Sky and hopefully that prisoner will be recruited before the team gets back. One thing to note, this is a rather large settlement we're going for. This is a 27 people site. It's also in tropical rainforest, so there might be elephants. Hmm. So I think what we're going to do is we brought along some potatoes so that we can uh, maybe grab some elephants if they're there. We've also got a doomsday rocket and a psychic shock lance because, well, there's 27 of them. That is so many people. This is uh, going to be interesting, isn't it? Oh, wooden shelf masterwork. No, I really hope that they get a masterwork minigun. We haven't got a masterwork minigun in ages. Come on, Jason. You can do it. Ten work left? Come on. No, just excellent, unfortunately. Ah, uh, well. Jason here has been working out quite well. Their crafting is at 17. Their odds of getting a masterwork is actually about... Actually, wait, I am not quite accurate. For a crafting of 17, they would have a 37.93 and a 4.7... 
a plus 4.77 of doing X of a masterwork or better. So it works at about 42.7% chance of giving us a masterwork or better. That's really, really good odds. Our people are almost there, but I think, I think we might want to rest the night. I want everyone fully rested. So I think we'll just hit the rest button. Uh, visibility multiplied by 30%, unfortunately, but eh, what can you do? So everyone can grab a nap, grab some food. Uh, yeah, I think we'll wait till first thing in the morning. We'll go in while we have daylight on our side. Well, everyone is fully rested, but some people won't grab snacks. I wish there was a way to tell everyone to eat if they were below like 50%, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're going in. Let's see what this has to hold for us. Well, there we go. This is a neutral camp. Let's go check it out. You're telling me there's 27 people crammed in there? I'm betting they're all in here, though. They seem to all be in one building. So this is going to be like some sort of clan care thing where a whole bunch of them pour out. Well, there's a bunch of nice looking rocks. I think one, two, three. Yeah, I think we'll grab, say, these and maybe get them out of the way. Yeah, we can make ourselves a little firing line along here. This could take a quick second. Eh. Dear Lord. Yep, yep. It's a clan cart. Okay, everyone almost done. Perfect. Let's get our... Uh... Nope, 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 nope. I don't want anyone shooting just yet. Everyone hold fire. We want everyone in position first. Come on, come on, come on. Ali, eh, we can get you a slightly better position. And Carl, where are you? Damn it. The main car. All right, so Carl is here. They've got the marksmanship command. That should affect everyone. Now let's see what we're dealing with. Dear Lord. 26 humans. Okay, the advertising was correct. That person is wearing very nice armor. Steel plate. I don't suppose you're a chief or something, are you? Berserker chief. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, see, let's see if any of them are worth keeping. Well, that's a depressing list of pawns. Look at that. One tough pawn. Okay, a couple of skulls. i got to remember to bring those with us this time. And that's it. There's a, a couple of brawlers, but we honestly don't need any more brawlers. I want more quick shooters, and I'll take tough in a pinch. But, oh man, that is just... That is rough. Okay. Let's have uh, Carl pop his... Where are you, Carl? Yeah, we're going to have you pop off the shoot marksmanship command. Uh, everyone's set up, and then we'll get rid of fire at will. This should be interesting. Uh, did, did anyone notice that? Yeah, I think they noticed. Oh my god! Okay, let's see. Oh. We have a bit of a problem. They're all... There's a lot of melee people there. I think we got them, though. Actually, never mind. It was not nearly as much of a problem as I thought it was going to be. Dear Lord. I am loving miniguns. Did I mention that before? But I am loving miniguns. <laughs> Holy Jesus. That is 20 of them. They didn't even get within range. I think they might... i got to go back and check the footage. But they, they didn't even get close enough to get a stab. That was... Uh, that was horrifyingly beautiful. Let's go see if they've got any floors that are worth taking. Well, we patch up two of the uh, future prisoners. Let's check what they got. And wow, that's a lot of totemic marble tile. Though I think we would prefer the floorboards. That's a lot more wood. And they actually had 15 bedrolls. Well, you know, for 26 of them, I suppose comfy enough. All right, let's strip it out, boys. Ah, uh, perfection. So we've managed to strip out the entire area. Uh, let's see just how much we get to bring home with us. I don't think we've got enough... Uh, I think we've got enough space in the caravan to bring everyone, everything with us. And we have got two prisoners as well. well let's head straight back this direction. All right, everyone. Let's see what we managed to uh, accomplish. Oh, God. 1,100 pemmican. Yep, that will keep everyone full on the way back home. Well, you know, we're going to take all your bedrolls as well. We're actually short of a few, and we can sell off the worst ones. We'll keep the good and the extant, but uh, all the lower-end ones can go. Pretty much all of our flak vests are made out of cloth we stole from other sites. We haven't bought cloth. We've just been stealing it. I like that. Everyone's flak vest is made from, you know, stolen cloth. That just feels so much better. Why is there that much steel? What the... Oh, I'm an idiot. This was actually a steel mining worksite. This was the whole... Yeah, never mind. I'm an idiot. We'll take the steel, but I think we're going to leave uh, all the marble behind. If we take... If we max out on marble, because we're almost maxed out as it is, that'll drop us from about 9 to 8.5. Oh, it's not worth it, is it? For 68 marble, I'm, I'm just not bothered doing that. Uh, that'll do. And then we'll start, start heading that way. But before we go... 
Let's split someone off. I'm thinking I want to try and grab some elephants if we possibly can. We have split the colony in two, and we're going to have one of them, well, two of them that we split out, who have got good animal skills, just settle in this tile for a minute. Now, we did have to make some minor changes to allow this, as in we had to go into the options in here. And there is an option in here to allow you to have more than one colony, whereas, yeah, maximum number of colonies. So we set it to two so that we could set this one up, just so we could see if there's any wildlife in here that we would like to tame. Namely, elephants. And oh my god, that's so many rhinoceroses. Rhinoceros? Uh, never mind. Doesn't matter what the plural is. Well, that was a bust. In that case, let's get them out of here. We'll just have to make sure that they take all of this junk with them. Though I suppose while we were here, we should have sent in some miners and taken all the components. There's several batches of components around this area. Hmm. Yeah, it might be faster than using the scanner. It was a good recommendation from the comments. Ah, but for now. I don't think we're going to worry about it too much. We've got enough components to keep us going, and we've got a successful raid under our belt. I'd prefer to get the bulk of our people home before we get attacked. I mean, you know Randy's going to attack us at some point in the near future, and we can actually trash that old settlement. We don't want it anymore. Done. Now I suppose we can settle them in another tile. There's there's more than one tile along here. Turns out this tile was uh, not very good either. No, no elephants. I was hoping to get them because they're one of the best animals, it seems, for training right now. Or for uses. They just uh, they can be used for a lot of different things, including hauling and caravans. Uh, Alright, let's see if they've uh, got how many components they've got and how much money we can get for all this junk. 27 components. That's another minigun, which I think is a good deal. Though, we are bringing back a just ridiculous amount of raw resources now. Uh, let's see how everyone's looking. Everyone's meals are set up. And let's abandon this little colony here. We couldn't find any elephants there either. It's a pity. A new recruit has joined our little mob. Please welcome Sky. She does have the most appropriate clothing though I've ever seen. That that pant panthera fur parka just with all the spiky stuff coming out of it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, time to name them. Please welcome to the team, Brian Bochetter. Okay, Bochetter, Bochetter. You know, I'm just going with Brian. You're Brian. Welcome, Brian. All right, uh, they are an iron-willed, tough misandrist, which is great, and they're only good at construction, but they do actually have nine points in mining, so mining and construction is going to be their life, along with probably some cleaning and hauling. This place is an absolute sty, and it's not like we do an awful lot of... Well, most of our construction gets done pretty quickly. Caravan is back. Ooh, excellent. And... Someone want to bring those prisoners? Oh, we don't have prisoner beds, do we? You know what? Uh, you can... Yeah, actually, wait, no. There's one prisoner bed, and there's another prisoner bed. Get those prisoners in there, people. Stop lollygagging about. Ah, there we go. Wait, you're in a loading jackal? Um... Oh, seriously, guys. Would someone come out here? Oh. Well, right. First up, good news! Uh, we have got a masterwork minigun created. Excellent. That's two more miniguns. How many people are actually left to get them? One, two, three, actually four. Brian's just joined us. So four people need miniguns and we've got two. One masterwork and one excellent. I, I got rid of the normal ones we picked up from some raiders that showed up, namely because a normal minigun on our guys just didn't seem right. Our team is a team of professionals. Now, we're having uh, the bad news now. The bad news is a group of mechanoids have dropped right on top of you and they are attacking immediately. Um... I can't see the drop pod indicator. Where is it? There should be some sort of shadows on the ground where they're gonna Oh. Look suspiciously like around here. This is this is going to suck. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need to get a everyone together. I think. You know what? Let's let this play out just a few seconds more. I need to get a better idea of where they're hitting. Oh yeah, it's definitely here. Hmm. The animals are probably going to get slaughtered. And anyone that comes in here is going to cause us problems. Uh, you. Close that door. Yep. Yeah. Right. Some of them land outside. We leave them outside. The ones that land inside, we take care of. We get everyone in here. The whole team. All right? Uh, except for the, the slave guy. The slave guy can stay doing what he's doing. Okay, everyone else. Uh, we're going to want you in here. Uh, we're probably going to get some people up in melee. Oh, melee close. How... The problem is this could be scythers. If it's scythers, it's going to be a big problem. Uh, and can everyone make it in time? Yeah, we're going to be a little bit slow here. Okay. Slow speed. Ooh. Hmm. Damn. Okay, nine drop pods. Three outside. The rest inside. So, you know what I'm thinking? 
I'm thinking we leave this door open. We leave, say, this door open. And we pull everyone around this side instead. If everyone comes out here, then what should happen is... And we close this door. We can take on these three in isolation. That will give us a better idea to see what's going on in there. Then they will have to pass through this door and this door to get to us. <clears throat> Wild... Oh, excuse me, my voice. All right, just needed a quick mouthful of tea. All right, plan then. Um, yeah, everyone's getting out of that room. Zing, I also noticed Zeng has got a cut to her head. What the hell? I think... I think what happened was... Yeah, the ceiling fell on them. So... Yeah, not good to be under drop pod raids. Uh, oh, good dog. Damn it, uh, I need to put them in a safe zone. All right, dog is on the way to the safe zone. Oh, God. Why is there milk in the doorway? Oh, God damn it. Um, yeah, we'll make an emergency zone there. Prioritize hauling milk. Yes, please. No, that's, that's the wrong direction. Uh, this should be critically important yes it is critically important prioritize holding, holding that milk jason oh god jason please hurry up you've got the emp grenades we desperately need you so we're gonna leave the door open for just a little bit longer that door is also locked open and as we will quickly grab that door uh carl well you've already popped your marksmanship command that was unfortunate uh hmm. let me think where was it Ah, yes. Uh, our newest recruit, Brian, was on their way back. They've got an Insanity Lance. They're also going to pick up their Masterwork minigun. And we might have them pop in the door in Insanity one of these. If... Like, I'm just judging. By the amount of numbers in here, i got to imagine this is not going to be Scythers. It's just, if it was Scythers, there's generally a lot more pods. Even with a, But it is a center drop, so I'm not sure. We haven't been attacked in so long, seriously, that I'm just... Hmm, I, have, I can't quite figure out where we are. This could be all centipedes, in which case that would be a problem. You immediately get back here if it is all centipedes that's going to be an issue and let me see jason is going to make it so you know what jason just go right there for now we'll get you to emp that section the moment that it sorts itself out door can now close uh saying over here oh god oh okay, yeah we'll get in everyone nice and close grumpy grand's on the way okay 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 is that door closing that should be closing Paul, I need you to open that door pretty quickly. No, nope, Tessex, I want you to come this direction and down. Grumpy Grand's on the way, Sean. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yep. Oh. Oh, thank God. There's a pikeman. <laughs> oh my God, there's a pikeman. I really thought that was going to be nine centipedes. I was just, I was so convinced in my head that was nine centipedes and that we were completely boned. Oh. Okay, who's got the best melee skill? So it turns out uh, these ones just ended up in perfect order. Uh, th this was not intentional, I wish it was. But Carol, or Douglas has six in melee, Carol has six in melee, and Magnus has six in melee. So our best our me best melee pawns are right up front. Oh god, that's a scyther. Uh, we're going to need to have everyone target that. And we're going to need to have Carl here. Ooh, Carl. Go down there and melee that one. That site there's going to be a huge problem, isn't it? Oh, the rest of our reinforcements are not quite here yet. Sean, everyone. Ow, oh, that's close range blaster fire. You, uh, melee that. Carl, melee that. Ow. Okay, okay, so... Oh, damn. Azul, you're down already. Please, nose shot off. Torso, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. That is... God, that's a bad way to start. Uh, they are all moving around quite quickly. Jason, I am going to... Oh, damn it. Where is... Oh, God, Brian is miles away. Ah, uh, Brian. All right, I say we get someone maybe with an insanity lance back here soon. That centipede could be our salvation. If we can insanity that centipede, all three of those should start going after it. Uh, that's shock lance. Oh, you get in there. Uh, get on that, actually. Psychic Insanity Lance, it is. Gran, I want you in that doorway. Thank you kindly. There's going to be a Lancer coming for you in a second. Okay, you, you, stop. Stop trying to EMP them. Once they've been EMP'd once, you can't EMP them for a little while longer. You know what? Get you over there, and over there. Uh, you know what? Never mind. They've turned around. I presume they want to kill something in that room. That is fine by me. We will close the door. Why is that... Scythe is still alive. 
Oh, thank God. Right. Kill that. Please, be Please tell me I didn't click on our own person there. Come on. Sean, yep. Sean, get in there. And Sean, we are just going to take you off the leash and let you attack everyone in the surrounding area. Okay. You know what? Uh, Gran. We got a special mission for you. We want you to head up that way. If we can insanity lance that sentry, it's going to make our life easier. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Grand's on the way. Okay, quick dip open the door. Nice, nice. And then close the door. Whew. Okay, everyone, a bit closer. Actually, maybe I got a better idea. You hold fire. Stop, stop zapping everyone. Uh, we need to get someone to tend to Azul. We don't want them bleeding out on us. Ali, this is a mission for you. You should also be carrying... You're not car... Oh, damn it, they just came back and they burned all their medicine. Who's carrying some medicine on them? Anyone? Seriously? Carl, herbal medicine. Excellent. That... And what about Grumpy Gran? Grumpy Gran. You can... Nope tent. That should be it. Yeah, everyone else is going to get in closer and we're going to really hit that thing with an absolute up close smashing. Oh, okay. So that leaves us with one scyther getting, or one uh, centipede getting the snot kicked out of it by its own kind. Oh, one of the scythers has decided it wants to have a go. Really? Uh, you know what? We'll take you up on that offer. See, we can... No, guys, I don't want you to clean the room. What? Why would I want... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, fine. Everyone get back there. No, no, no. They're fine. They're doing their thing. Hey, you killed that centipede. Saves me so much hassle. Uh, where's our prisoners? Our two prisoners are over there. Brian... You know what, Brian? Go we'll grab us some prisoners. Uh, yeah, go arrest Jackal. Jeez, your arrest chances are really good. Why is that, considering you have well, only six social? Never mind. You go arrest them. We are going to tend to our wounded and see if anyone else needs help. Cut to the head from a ceiling falling on them. Oh, God. All right, all right. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can get a... We can sort out Azul in a minute. We're going to have to figure out how we're taking care of the last of these. Hmm. I suppose we just let him fight it out for now, and then we clean up the mess. That centipede's not going to last much longer. That leaves us with two scythers, two lancers, and one pikeman. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. I think while they're distracted, we'll rush in. I really do want to get this finished quickly. So I think we're going to use a shield pop. We've, we've got four shield pops over there, I just realized, so... Why are we holding off? Uh, you know what? Everyone in there, I want you to get a little pile right about there. And we're going to pop a shield bubble. And we're going to open up on the Scythers, I think, first. Yeah, we open up the Scythers. They're the only thing that's really a danger to us right now. Uh, who's got the shield pop? Come on, one of you has it. I saw the icon for it. Here. Come on. Wait. There we go. Okay, so Douglas has it. Uh, we'll keep Douglas back for the minute, and we'll get them to pop it once, once everyone's just about in position. Okay, Douglas. I'm going to have you... This one, two, three... Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Right about there is... Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to need you up front, Sean. Actually, pull you back, pull you back, and put Sean back. And maybe have a few people dedicated towards some other... Grant, what are you doing? You're going to get more medicine. You know what? I'm okay with that. Uh, do what you got to do. You three back here. I want you to target that Scyther. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, wait, no. I want you to target that Scyther. My bad. Uh, and you, you, and you. I want you to target that Scyther. Okay, done, done, done. Oh, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. But you know what? It's all done and everyone's still alive. So maybe tell that to Azul, who's missing their nose. Don't worry, Azul. We'll get you another nose. 
there's there's I'm pretty sure there was a nose actually was it an aesthetic shape or an aesthetic nose I'll have to check the footage so checking the uh, footage it seems there was an aesthetic shaper for sale or aesthetic nose for sale in Sparland we can go back and grab one of those we have 17 days to get it we consider it a uh, sort of a belated wedding gift for Azul here yes yeah, sorry that we didn't get you something for your wedding here's a nose uh, unfortunately, Paul has also got badly injured as well. They've lost their entire leg. This is why I hate messing with scythers. Dear Lord, they're nasty monsters. Okay, that was very painful. We managed to shut it down quick enough, but oh my god, I think I think I might have been better off just... Oh, it was... Ah, I'm just trying to replay it in my head, better ways we could have done it. And there was little things like I should have gotten closer to that centipede at first, but I didn't know if it was going to be scythers or lancers pop scythers popping out of there. If, it, if these were all scythers and we were this close, it was actually a bad thing. Ah, it's just... It's kind of weird not getting attacks for so long. You don't know exactly where you are. If I knew, if this was, if we had another attack in the near future, then I'd know roughly what to expect depending on the amount of drop pods, but it's been so long. All right, I'm going to uh, tidy this up and get people medical attention. I've also switched our research tree. We're going to try and get our hands on prosthetics. We switched out of mortars straight into prosthetics so we can get a prosthetic leg here. That's about 85% efficient and we'll give Paul a peg leg in the meantime. Uh, as well as that, we're going to have to clean the place up, replace some fencing, and I think next up... Yeah, next up is grab those prisoners and put them into... Yeah, put them into rotation. As in, they should have both have natural focus. Yeah, natural focus on you, and natural focus on you. That will give us three slaves for the anima tree, and that should drastically improve anima... Well, anima increase. Then we can crank up Tessex to level 6 in Psy abilities an awful lot faster and hopefully recruit another tribal or three. If we could get three or four tribal wizards, that would be amazing. Anyway, I am going to cut this out here for the day. I hope you enjoyed and good luck.